Hello students! Welcome to week 1 of your Practical Research 1 course. Lesson 3 is about characteristics, processes, and ethics of research. What do you think are your negative traits that you can change into positive traits in conducting research? Write your negative traits on the left side and your positive traits on the right side. For example, under negative traits, you find yourself inaccurate. After conducting research, being inaccurate may change into detail-orientedness. All of the traits you placed in the activity are considered as your characteristics. Research 2 has characteristics that differentiates it from other studies. Research is defined as the scientific investigation of phenomena, which includes collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of facts that outlines an individual's speculation with reality. Characteristics of Research Research is empirical. It is based on direct experience or observation by the researcher. Research is logical. It is based on valid procedures and principles. Research is cyclical. It is a cyclical process because it starts with a problem and ends with a problem. Research is analytical. It utilizes proven analytical procedures in gathering the data, whether historical, descriptive, experimental, or case study. Research is critical. It exhibits careful and precise judgment. Research is methodical. Research is conducted in a methodical manner without bias using systematic method and procedures. Research can be replicated. The research design and procedures are replicated or repeated to enable the researcher to arrive at valid and conclusive results. Processes of research. Select a general problem. Review the literature of the problem. Select a specific research problem, question, or hypothesis. Collect data. Analyze and present or display data. Interpret the findings and state conclusions or generalizations regarding the problem. Ethics in research. Ethics generally is considered to deal with beliefs about what is right or wrong, improper or proper, good or bad. According to a dictionary definition, to be ethical is to conform to accepted professional practice. Ethical considerations in conducting research. Objectivity and integrity. Do not give subjective interpretation about the results. Also, do not plagiarize. Examples of subjective interpretations are Women are weak. Filipinos are uneducated. Second, respect to privacy and dignity and protection of subjects from potential harm. Do not reveal the subject's identity. Consider the exposure of subjects to possible psychological harm. For example, you may assign a code or numbers to subject's identity. Juan de la Cruz, the code is S01, which stands for subject number 1. Third, presentation of research findings. Present the research findings to the people involved in the study. For example, you may send a copy of the research paper to your subjects. Fourth, misuse of research role. Do not use research data for other purposes. Example of research misuse is, one published a research paper about teenagers. He gave the raw data to Neri, who is also studying teenagers. Next, acknowledgement of research collaboration and assistance. Cite the experts or collaborators who helped in the research process. For example, this paper will not be possible without the exceptional support of my supervisor, Mr. Lian Francisco. Distortions of findings by sponsor. Do not let the interest of study sponsors affect the research results. For example, the sponsor wanted the researcher to increase the reported number of COVID-19 patients who died. Unethical practices in conducting research. Deceiving a respondent about the true purpose of a study. Asking a respondent questions that cause him or her 
extreme embarrassment, guilt, or emotional turmoil by reminding him or her of an unpleasant experience. Invading the privacy of a respondent. Studying the respondents or research subjects without their knowledge, and when analyzing the data, revealing only part of the facts, presenting facts out of context, falsifying findings, or offering misleading presentations such as lying with statistics. You may check Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines or RA 8293. It contains provisions regarding published works and copyright ownership. Test your understanding by answering the items under abstraction. Write true if the statement is correct, otherwise, write false. Lastly, read one published research about your specialization to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the research all about? Number two, what are the processes followed in the research? Number three, how did the researcher consider the ethics in conducting the study? Congratulations! That's all for Lesson 3. Thank you for watching!